We going. Let's go time. <clears throat> okay. Let's go time. All right, here's it. Let's go time. Let's, Let's go, go baby. time. All right. Live and direct. <clears throat> you are very welcome. You are very welcome. Welcome to the Go Farm. I'm your host, Westside JJ, Let's and go. I'm here with the lookalikes. On my right, we got Zed Trilla. On my left, we got Freeway Zoe. Let's go. I like to say happy Juneteenth and happy Father's Day to everybody. Happy Father's Day, man. Hey, happy Father's Day, brother. Happy I'm here with two excellent fathers. Excellent fathers. Oh, man. Appreciate, appreciate you, man. Appreciate excellent that. fathers, appreciate you know that. what I mean? We appreciate that, man. Much and I want to say congratulations for all the work you've done with your seeds, helping them grow into long, tall trees. Yeah. How was your Father's Day? It was cool, man. Uh, you know. I really don't celebrate holidays, but you know, just chill with my pops, chill with uh, the kids. We did breakfast. Yep. Yeah, yeah, we did, yeah, breakfast. We did breakfast, a little steak yeah, and eggs. And a little Haiti? Yeah, 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 yeah. A little Haiti, yeah, homemade, yeah. homemade yeah. breakfast. Yeah, yeah, homemade yeah. breakfast. You know, well, that means no, no pork. No, no pork. Yeah, no, no pork. pork. No pork. No pork. Uh, okay. The ladies had the little mimosas going. Yeah, it's okay. flowing. Got the little tower going at the house. But so y'all, y'all, y'all were appreciated, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah most yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah. They even cooked for us at the, you know, Grimes' house. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They cooked for us down there. And, uh, yeah, it was, uh, like I said, we, we really don't celebrate ho holidays like that, but, you know, like, you know, my my other family do, so we appreciate that. You know, okay. shout out to all the ladies in the family. Yeah, yeah, Christmas shout out stuff. to all the, all the black queens, yeah. all the little princesses all and right. stuff. So y'all actually had something going on for y'all. You know, a lot of fathers, yeah, they, yeah. Don't get, they don't get their just due on Father's Day, you know? Well, you know, uh, some some fathers, you know, get the bad end of the stick sometimes, you know. Some are not able, some are not present, mm -hmm. some have passed. So, you know, it's just, you know, different multitude of things that just happen with them and their situations, you know. Right, right, right. Yeah. And it's funny that the next day was Juneteenth. Yeah, yeah. man, that was, another, that was another beautiful day for that, us. Uh, man, sh hey, shout out to uh, the people that set it up at the Cultures Art, uh, Cultures Art Park right here, man. It yeah, was beautiful, bro. Beautiful, 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 bro. Beautiful. We had good weather. Uh, the food trucks was popping. Yeah. The DJ was popping. The uh, poet was uh, on point. Yeah. The violin. But it was, it was beautiful, man. Okay, it, so it was the really talent was on deck. The talent yeah. was on yeah, deck. Yeah, so yeah, man. That's a, a, a crazy pairing when you have Father's Day, right? Mm -hmm. And then Juneteenth, which is still fresh and new as far as a national holiday in right. America. Yeah. Right, right, right. Back-to-back -back days. That yeah, father that dynamic and then free and slavery right so you pair those two together you get a you get a bad mix yeah, yeah, yeah. you get you get generational curses yep. you get you get the perceptions that you know black men mm -hmm. may have not grown up with their father and you guys right. have a father in your lives yes. right, right, right. we're gonna get deeper into that and you, your relationship with your fathers right, 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 me right. myself I do have a father in my life you yes, know sir. we've had our trials we've yeah. had our, our, our situation where um, he had his shortcomings, but you know I don't hold no grudges. That's but, a good um, thing, though. It's a great thing, you That's know. You know I hold no grudges with my father. Yeah. You know we're not as close as we should be. Right. We'll probably never be right. as close as we should be, but right. I love him. That's the only thing that matters, really, because like the thing is, we all gonna make mistakes in life, right? So that's like my pops. He made a mistake that took him out of me and my brother's life and my mother's life and out the house for a while. You get what I mean? Mm -hmm. And that led us on to, you know, do mischievous things and lead down, you know, wrong paths and stuff like that. But as I became older and stuff like that, and like you just said, I have learned to forgive and let go. Because at the end of the day, I'm not a perfect dad. It's things that I can do better. That, you know, when Malachi get older, he'll be able to probably tell me, Zoe and him will be able to tell me, like, hey, dad, you could have did this better. You get what I mean? And, mm -hmm. I look at them and I look at people around me and be like, you know, I could be, I can take this from them. You know what I mean? That's just like, even you, you're not a father, but it's certain aspects and certain things that you have that I'm like, okay, yeah, JJ, all right, yeah, I appreciate that. And I, I got to take that from you. You get what I mean? Just like Alonzo, I take things from him and his fatherhood, you know, and that's, that's what I feel like kind of mold you into being a better man, looking at certain things that other people have done, you know, that can be like, okay, that's how I can learn from that situation. Yeah, hundred yeah, percent. I was, I was just talking to my boys about, uh, about fatherhood. It's a lot of shit that my dad did that I would say, oh yeah, I would do, but then there's things that, you know, he did that I said, I wouldn't do. Mm -hmm. And one of those things was, I don't ever want to get myself incarcerated because I know what happens to, to children mm -hmm. when you take the head away. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you get other people saying shit about your dad in front of you, 
disrespecting your dad in front of you, and now you think, oh shit, that's that's how my dad is, and now you right. grow up disrespecting your dad. But all it is is, man, these people could have been jealous of your dad, envious of your dad. Those are things that I know I experienced as a as a child mm -hmm. when my father got taken away. I used to hear people say shit about my dad and be like, damn, what the hell? Mm -hmm. So now you as a kid, you sit here questioning uh, your father. Mm -hmm. And not in a good way, kind of like, well, you ain't never did this yet. Right, right, right. And it'd be, it be women's perspective. They'd be mad, angry, mm -hmm. or hurt about whatever. And they just ball that shit up and they just unleash that in front of children. And as a child, you can't differentiate between what's, what's true and what's not true. So you mm -hmm. just taking that shit in. And, bro, somebody locked up, they can't defend themselves. Right, right, right. So I always make sure that I try my best not to not to get incarcerated where I'm going for my children mm -hmm. and uh, and I'm able to hey look man y'all father's here I'm not right. missing no birthdays I'm here for school uh, whatever you need help with I'm here uh, football whatever in life mm -hmm. I'm, I'm here I'm here to give you my experiences because when you cut the head off man the body's going I'm telling you yeah. it's not that it's not that women can't raise young men mm -hmm. but it's not it's not the job of a woman to raise a man. Right. Mm -hmm. You get what I'm saying? Not by herself. Not by herself. Yeah, not by herself. A woman is supposed to teach her son how to love, how to love a woman, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. But as a man, how you, your mannerisms, all that, when you, when you shake another man's hand, a woman can't, she could tell you that, but it's, it's different when a, right. when a man, hey, now look, man, now do this. How to cut grass. My dad taught me how to cut grass. Mm -hmm. You get what I'm saying? Keep yourself groomed, man. Get a haircut. Make sure your uh, your face is clean. I, I've seen grown ass men wake up, come to work, with sleep all in their eyes. It's emotion. So it's not a knock on women that 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 are raising young men, but it's up to men to raise other other men. And you have to be a structured man. Now I'm not just saying men could, like, oh, you got just because you got to dick your man. No, bro, you got to do right. Get up, get up in the morning, go to work, do the right things, respect people. You know, so. Having having a male figure, having a, the right male figure in my life, I know played a big part, man. Because mm -hmm. before, man, me and my brother were exposed to so much shit. Uh, your cousins, uh, my auntie, uh, they were all doing all type of shit. Uh, my uncles being womenizers, and we would think that shit was cool. Mm. So by the time our dad got out, was it what? Twelve? No, we had just. We had, this is the end of our eighth grade semester. So mm -hmm. the last year before you go to high school, my dad came home, man, and like I said, got shit together. Mm -hmm. Because me and Zoe was headed, headed down the road of trouble. Mm -hmm. But thank God he did come when he did. Straighten us up, man, no, no trouble, graduated and everything. Because we had structure back in the household. Mm -hmm. And not to say my mom wasn't doing her best, but we was wearing my mama down. You gonna, yeah, yeah, what yeah. a woman gonna do with two Two grown ass motherfuckers that think they know everything. Yeah. A not woman can, oh. not grown, acting grown. Yeah, acting, acting grown. grown. Yeah, right, acting. Right, yeah, right. acting grown. You so, know. So was that uh, a result of what you were exposed to? Oh uh, yeah. For as sure. Like, yeah. As far as for being sure. a child and not being prepared for what you've seen Hell and seeing yeah. things that a child shouldn't see. Man. Hell yeah. I mean, I, I hate to sound like the typical kid, African American kid or minority kid growing up in the inner city, especially on the west side of Fresno. But, man, you get exposed to so much shit, it's not even funny. Like, I'm going to be honest with you, and I had this conversation with somebody before at the barbershop. I want to say it was Nico. But growing up here on the west side of Fresno is way different than growing up anywhere else in Fresno. Yeah. Because you're so exposed to so much gang violence. At least, at least in our era. Yeah, in our era. In not our necessarily yeah, in our now. Era. Yeah, 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 in our era. Yeah, it's yeah. a whole different ballgame yeah, yeah, now. Yeah, it's a whole different, because everybody yeah, yeah. has moved away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But right there in that area, you have to think. You have some of the most notorious gangs in Fresno within blocks. Now, uh, block, yeah, blocks. Sharing liquor stores. Yep. Sharing liquor stores. And it's four corners. I'll call it the four corners. Yeah. Because you go this way, you're in gang territory. You go in this way, you're in gang territory. You go this way, you're in gang territory. In yeah. here. So yeah. it's just, and in, in our neighborhood, we had a gang. Yeah, and I, I've had my experiences as well. Like, yeah. not even being in a gang, mm -hmm. but surviving drive by. Yeah, yeah, 100%. You don't um, even got to um, be in this shit. Um, being, being in potential drug raids. Mm hmm. Um, getting pulled over, knowing there's guns in the car at, yeah. at a young, tender age, knowing yeah. it's a gun in his car. Yes. Hoping, I don't know how the police, at this time, not right. knowing how the police go about search and seizure. Right, right. Didn't even know what search and seizure was, just knowing, right. like, my cousin got a gun under this seat. 
I hope it's all good. He been smoking weed. Uh, hope, license. Hope the license is good. You know, and um, you know, as a as kids, you know, we get exposed. Sometimes we expose our our our, our own kids, or right. our own relatives, to things right. that they shouldn't see. Yeah, for sure, but and, we um, think it's normal though. Yeah. And, but is it boys? Like, cause we sometimes we're okay with showing boys. Like, we can have a boys, the yeah. young men around. Yeah, yeah, they yeah. can see the how the young men hang out. Yeah, yeah. You wouldn't necessarily show Zoe some of the things you may no, no, show Melakai. No, no, you know? no, no, hundred and ten percent. Yeah, you know? I wouldn't. JJ, you're absolutely right. And I know our background. So, the people and the family members that we have, they were out there. Yeah. I'm gonna just start off like this, John Boy. And my uncle Red, yeah, they exposed us to you know different type of things. Your brother Bobby, and, and my brother Bobby too. But I'm just saying more notorious names that people can be like okay, Bobby too, yeah, Bobby too. So we grew up in like, you know, just fast money, yeah, and just fast cars, fast money, fast girls, yeah, all, yeah. All, everything fast cars, and, and fashion. We've we been to the house, the dope yeah. house, yeah, yeah. And I mean, like me now personally. I would never took no kids over there. Yeah. And we was young. Yeah. It, was, I mean, it wasn't exactly the dope house. It was, it but was it wasn't. The dope, house. The dope the, house was across the street. But I'm just saying, though. But that's where, that was like the headquarters. I know. Yeah. That was the headquarters. That's where everybody hang out yeah. at. I mean, it was just so much things happened. Anything, anything could have happened. They, even they had, they, and Lil John was there. He younger than us. Yeah, yeah. You yeah. know, yeah. but that was the first place I seen the big screen. Y'all nephew, DeAnthony. Yeah, DeAnthony. Yeah, Isaiah. Isaiah. Yeah. You know, so that's what I'm saying, but. And I'm not trying to talk down on them or nothing like that, but it kind of like gives you the okay to okay. I can venture off into the game. Yeah. I can venture off into this because y'all did it. And sometimes that's what kids do. Well, dad, you did it. How could you talk to me like that? Not yeah. even, but you know. But when you got, like I said, when you got the 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 head away, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So Bobby, being our older brother, he was next in line, right? Mm -hmm. So we go do shit with him. Go chill, kick it around him, and he, you know, he young too. Yeah, Bobby was a fresh twenty. Yeah, twenty twenty one. Yeah, yeah. I remember when he got he turned twenty one. He, he got the twenty one tattoo on the twenty one. Yeah, man, and let, let me tell you, between that tattoo and him getting Summerfield blast on his back, shit, I wanted to go do that. Yo. Yeah, but you know, I would say I was on the reserve to shit. Mm. Zoe was kind of more like. I'm gonna go test shit out. Yeah, like, Zoe, yeah, yeah, Zoe. Zoe you know, in there, like he he like, next in line. Yeah, Zoe, like, like he I'm wanted next to skip. Up. He wanted to skip past me. Yeah, yeah, Zoe, yeah, yeah, yeah. Zoe yeah. like nigga, I'm 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 the nigga because you know he idolized Bobby. Yeah. yeah, Bobby, you know he was he was he was the man at yeah. that point. You know yeah. he was doing his thing. I remember vividly my sister used to have parties at the house. My brother come over there with the gun and anything happened. You know, woo -dee woo woo. I. Man, Bro, I, I was exposed firsthand to guns, yeah, man. Yeah. I, I come home from school one day. I don't know. I might have been eight, mm. seven, eight, seven, eight, nine. I was a nine. I had to be seven or eight. Mm. I go home, you know, tired. Go to my bed. You know, you put your arms under the pillow. Yeah. Underneath is a little small. It had to be like a 22, Shh. maybe a tray deuce. You know, I don't know what to do with this. You know, I take it. I mean, I take it to straight to grandma, like grandma, <laughs> you know. Hey, I, somebody left this under my pillow, grandma. Here, man, take this. What'd she it, do? I don't recall. She might have just stashed it herself, you know, yeah. made her made her calls. Hit yeah. that pager, that 911 on the pager. Right, right. right. But that was, uh, I think that was John Boy, because John Boy was that cousin that he he wanted to get you ready. Yeah, he yeah, He was going to yeah, push yeah. you sure. forward. And at the time, they was at war with killers. Yeah. At war. War that we were exposed to. Yeah. War that our lives were in danger, you know? Right. House getting firebombed. Hundred that was that was a big one. Yeah. Hundreds of rounds shot into the house. It was shooting. It's crazy, everybody survived. Everybody survived. It I was, don't even think nobody got hit. Nobody nobody got killed. Our hit and uh, for, all right, let's let's switch gears, yeah, man. Yeah. Uh so back to the upbringing thing and influences like mm. I want to talk about who are the people that influenced us. Some of the people that, Ooh, shit. some of the people that showed us things that maybe we weren't supposed to see, yeah. and some of the things that maybe we saw and was and was positive effects on us. And I, I'm gonna start with this, and yeah. I'm gonna go with uh, you know, I, my brothers and sisters, mm -hmm. they are from. Well, my sister Tiffany, rest in peace. Mm -hmm. She was disabled as I was growing up, mm -hmm. so we didn't necessarily get to have that, the, that childhood together. Right. You know, she uh she started deteriorating slowly around the time I was probably in the first or second grade. Mm -hmm. But my two brothers and my sister 
Conda, my brother Kevin, and my brother Keith, mm -hmm. they grew up in Sacramento. Mm -hmm. And like I said, like we said, there was a disconnect with my father. Right. So therefore, me and them didn't have the relationship we should have had. Right. So growing up at my grandma's house on my mother's side, my three role models were G, John, and Bobby. <coughs> Y'all brother Bobby, mm -hmm. our cousins John and G. Mm -hmm. And they used to tug me with them. So I learned something. I learned good and bad from both of them. I, I, I can only imagine. Good and bad. G, G was more like an uncle figure because he got about 12 years on me. Mm -hmm. So G was more like, like, like my uncle almost, you know. And I'll think back on some of the things that uh, G was doing at a young age right. that he's still doing now, just working on working vigorously, right. like crazy. He was involved in, even then he was involved in sports. He was umping. He was working at the uh, the, the railroad then. Right. So I see like now, like the stuff that I'm doing, like, man, he was doing that at 19. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, like I work here, I work there, I work here. G been doing that since a teenager. Yep. So that hustle, and it's still to this day, like G don't sleep. Yep. You know, we might go to the nightclub, G in there sitting by himself ordering shots. Like, man, then yep. you, you just did 10 hours at the railroad. Yeah. You didn't probably went talk to the city council. Yeah. Now you at Bobby's yeah. Having, yeah. having shots and you Jack got work in the trades. morning. Yeah. And yeah. you got Edison football helmets and uh, pads and, yeah. and you got a, and you, security outside. Like, yeah, man. like, man, what's going on? You sleep? You sleep, my boy? Jack of all trades. Yeah. So that's what I, I got from G. Mm -hmm. John, like we said, he, 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 he going to check your game. Like what you on? What you what you doing? What you wearing? Yeah, yeah. Like, what, like what's the next step? What you got going? Yeah. Like I said, when they was at war, he was like, man, I'm. A, he was putting them guns, stashing them guns <laughs> in, in my bedding, stashing them weapons. Like he was probably thinking, like, you know what I'm saying? Because it was a serious war, man. So yeah. there's no telling what he was going through mentally. Like, yeah, for man. sure. He was probably seeing the fear. Like, man, anything happened, you know? He, like it's a he weapon right here. It's yours. Yeah. I wasn't ready for that, man. I, I was never like before that. I thought gang banging was cool. I watch colors. <laughs> I see rocket shoot. He was like, what's up, cuz I'm thinking I'm a crit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> After that, I'm like, man, you think you're a crit with Big John around? Man, it was it was some crips in the family. though. Uh, it was yeah, crips in the family. Some, yeah, yeah. yeah. Y'all brother. Yeah, I know. For instance. So the John was just like, oh, yeah. He, I remember one of the last memories I got of him. I come home from school. I'm a freshman in high school. I'm shooting jumpers on my in my backyard, dressed still in my my school clothes. He come, he like, okay, you got the woo wear shirt, you ain't got no woo wear jeans. You what kind of jeans you got on? I'm thinking like, damn, I gotta get the woo wear jeans. <laughs> but we broke. I'm like, how I'm gonna get them? Like, yeah. that's fifty, sixty dollars at demo. Yeah. That's one of like one of my last memories because he was always like checking my game. And then it's yeah. y'all brother who is like a brother to me because we right. was closer right. in age, like right. five, six years. So all the stuff I was doing. Like video games, mm -hmm. sports, uh, uh, just whatever. Like we was always playing each other, even though you know he could, he gonna whoop my ass. Right. But that's who I was playing with. You know what I'm saying? So, so as far as negativity goes, you know they was in the streets. You know, right. they was in the streets. So you gonna, you know, drive-bys, drugs, fast women, all types of hostility. You know Dude, they they fun. they bumping heads yeah. between each other, fighting. Them, yeah, yeah. Th themselves, you know what I mean? You know it's going to be some scraps with your folks. So, right. uh, and another story I want to tell, and this is a crazy one, man. I was thinking about this the other day. So, uh, you know, grandma going to make it work. So she, she, she called John, let him know we need, we need something. So he, t he get me. I think we was with Kevin Wilson. We was in two different cars. Mm -hmm. Might have been Damian White and some women and some girls. Mm -hmm. So we go up north somewhere. Might have been Modesto, maybe Merced. I don't know. Somewhere. We go to a department store, right? Mm -hmm. So I'm I'm shopping for clothes. I get what I need. John like, hey, go in that dressing room right there. So I'm like, all right. I go in the dressing room. Grown ass woman in there already. She came she came with us. So I'm like, she take the clothes, <laughs> lift her shirt. She got a girdle on. <laughs> she had, to, she, had, she had that she had that girdle on, and I'm sitting there like. Like, what's going on? I'm young, man. I don't know how I might have I might have been eight or nine. He about to tell. I don't know what's going on, man. She <laughs> she's stuffing my, my clothes in her girdle. Yeah. She look at me. I'm looking at her. She just like, give me the shoulder shrug. I'm like, man, it's crazy. Like, uh, imagine like Chewy or some Chewy, Chewy would probably go nuts. Yeah. Nah, Chewy might know what's up though. Chewy, Chewy know what's Chewy up. Chewy, Chewy different. Chewy. But yeah, just imagine that age, you just like, what what's going on? You yeah. kind of see, you like, oh she's She's stealing. <laughs> but that shit wild, bro. Yeah. Like, 
What's some of the influences you had? Uh, my influences, man, I'll just say, man, you know, it's, it's kind of like, uh, I'm always, like, attracted to, like, fast money. Mm-hmm. So, my, my, my biggest influence was my Uncle Red Peace be upon him, you know? But before, it was my sister boyfriend, Bernie's Peace be upon him. He mm-hmm. did. And uh, we would get up early. When he got out, we would get up early, and he would come get me. We'll walk to Lee's, you know, get his black and mouth. He'll go walk into another neighborhood that used to be right there by Lee's, mm-hmm. shoot dice, and have me right there with him. And I mean, like, we'll shoot for probably about two, three hours. And he's like, oh, man, let me get you home. When we get home, man, he'll roll the weed in front of me. I used to see him put weed in the, in the bag forms, which I didn't know, you know, really much. But I just little used to, yeah, little Ziploc bags. And, you know, at the time, stores used to sell them right there on the rack. Yeah. They used to sell them right there on the rack. So he'll go get those and he'll break it down. You know, I see him break down his weed and stuff like that. Man, we'll go around the corner here, go sell them, you know. Like, and that's what intrigued me, man. Like, just like, okay, like, this money. This, mm-hmm. this I know this means money. I'm, I'm going to get some money at the end of the day. And then, like, I will always, like, what's crazy is me and him only two minutes apart, but I always leave him out, out of it because I just knew it wasn't right. You get what I mean? Yeah. And, like, I would just, man, I would be always want to go with him because I knew, like, all right, at the end of the day, I know you're getting some money, and then I'm going to get something, too. You know what I mean? He used to tell me, like, oh, just wait right here real quick. Just tell me if somebody coming. And he'll just go drop off something, come back, give him my little 20 bucks. And 20 bucks back then? Man, I know I was going to lease every day to get some candy out of there or something. Yeah. And then, um... As I got older, probably about like 11, my uncle started coming around. He had just got out of prison. Yeah. So my uncles used to come around a lot. And all my uncles did the same thing. I had, one, I had six uncles. One of them only had a job. He was driving. But my biggest influence came from my Uncle Red. Like, everything, you know, from probably the way I dressed, the way how I talk, everything came from him. You know, and that kind of like put me into the place where... You know, he showed me how to get even more money. It wasn't the right way, but this all he knew. So this is what he was showing me. He used to be like, man, like, you like my son, man. You, your name yeah. Lorenzo, so you like my son. So I'm going to take you and show you everything. I mean, I remember him coming over, man, when I was probably like 12, man, he let me drive his car. I don't know what, I am mean, just know that I'm driving his car. He got, you know, two little fresh things in the back. Yeah. And every time he came and did something, he always came and showed me. So, and then as I got older, me and him, like, you know, Really, like, we got on the freeway with it, you know? And he really just showed me, like, really, like, how to sharpen my game, man. And, like, been around him, some of his homies, too, you know? Like, they showed me a lot, man. And, uh, I mean, I, I, uh, yeah, man, he he, he was big, man. Go ahead, Zach. Yeah, um, the, the people that had the most influence on me, I would say it went it went my uncles. Uh, my uncles used to come and get us, uh, go do they do they rounds and shit with women. And like like Zoe said, bro, we only had one uncle that was legitimately working, and at that time he 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 had his he had his own house and his own family mm-hmm. so that was like the tradi- the traditional man that you were supposed to see right and he would take us going to roll with him he was a truck driver and shit like that he would you know me and my cousin and shit then we would get we would get home and then we'll have you know my auntie at the time she was you know the, the, i guess gay that's you know and she was a womanizer you mm-hmm. get what i'm saying she had, but she, that's where Zoe get that only like light-skinned women because that's all she used I to say. I didn't say I only like. I, well, okay, well, here, let me say that, you know, you got to, you got to, you got to, you got to, yeah, you got to have a bright, bright damn white, white. You feel me? But that's yeah. what, you know, back then in the, in the 90s, bro, that's, you know, light-skinned women, red bone, you know, that's. That's the shit that was like, you know. He don't say yeah. that's my type, but that's what he did too. That's good. Cool. <laughs> no, 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 but I don't sit here and make it a big deal, but I say I, this. I got to prefer So, it. so like, all we, like, 
womanizers, womanizers. That's mm-hmm. all we, we, you know, that's all we came up around. Yeah. Uncles was, you know, pimps. And, 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 share some, and, share some of those stories, man. Bro, I, shit, I share remember, some of those stories with the public. Man, man. I remember vividly. My, my uncle Foots, come get us, bro. We go, we go over to the bra house, and he, uh, he had, he had. Tell him, tell him the story about bra, man. How they, you know, uh, we'll before, see, you, but, before you, before was, you, uh, we'll before see, you, tell yeah, that my, story. Yeah, my, 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 my uncles down there address women by one or two things, bitch or bra. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? Like, that's it. Like, yeah. I never. Oh, this, you know, this is my love, my none of that. Yeah. Oh yeah, this is my bra right here. All right, all right, man, that's my bitch. So. Like, if you hear Zoe talking about, oh, you know, this bitch that brought, that, that's how we grew up. Like, like you keep throwing Zoe under the bus. No, I'm just saying because a lot of... <laughs> Starting it up. No, 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 no. What I'm saying is a lot of people be act like, oh, why are you and Zoe so different? Yeah. Because, you know, Zoe, he used to be out there. Yeah, yeah. Zoe used to purposely be like, nah, bro, just tell I'm going to go, I'm going to be real quick. Yeah. You yeah. know, even though I knew, I was that's why I like... Like, oh, yeah. I'll be okay with being by myself, or I'll be off to other shit. And people are like, damn, why this nigga talk about aliens and shit like that? Bro, yeah. I used to be by myself. Real square. Yeah. I used to be by myself. Zoe used to be out there, you know, ripping and running. And then I used to have to li- hear all the stories when he come back. <laughs> so I was but, I'm saying that to say, so I'm trying to give it to where people be like, damn, why y'all so different? Because Zoe was out there. I wasn't. Yeah. Why Zoe do this and you don't? Because Zoe... I, like I said, he only two minutes older than me, but this nigga act like he 12 years older than me. Yeah. Nah, just stay here. Just do this. But yeah, man, I remember my uncle, man, we go to a broad house or whatever, and he's like, hey, yeah, go ahead and cook something for my nephews. So we all, you know, we, we she makes some tacos and shit. Mm-hmm. And, you know, we all sit down. I remember this shit crazy, bro. We sitting there, we sitting in her den just like this. And we watching the, uh, oh, shit, the Golden Child. Uh, uh, Eddie uh, Murphy? Yeah, with yeah. Eddie Murphy. Yeah. Uh, uncle in there. Uh, uh, doing this thing. Oh, yeah. Uh, uh. You know, kids, you know, you want to listen, put your ear to the door and shit. Yeah. You know, he come out, he come out the room. We, all right, y'all, let's go. So we getting ready to go out the front. No, no, no. Come on. Come on. We, have to, we have to come out this way. Yeah, man, you, you yeah, man, she got a man and thing coming. But, you know, he said, but, you know, that, that was like, as kids, that shit was fast. Damn, yeah, man, that shit was fascinating to us, bro. Mm-hmm. You don't even know the, you don't understand the full, like, damn, this nigga finna come dig out another broad, you know, another man's broad. Mm-hmm. And then on top of that, anything could have happened. Yeah. And got us with him. And got, and got us with him. <laughs> and then drop, hey, and then drop us back off at home, man. Like, that was, like, all right, that, that was, was our field trip. Up. That was our, man, I remember vividly. <laughs> yeah. Like, you My, know, most kids go to the zoo. Like, your, <laughs> ours is most, going, go do donuts. Go do donuts the Zephyr homes, homes. All like, type of shit, like, bro. It was just like, we did not have, we did yeah, not have yeah. the normal upbringing yeah. like kids were supposed to. Like, I can't never say, oh, yeah, my uncle used to take me fishing, Chuck E. Cheese and that. His thing was, hey, I'm going to go get all of y'all, and we either going to go work out in his uh, in his garage. Then you call that shit the Naughty, Naughty Black, Black Gym. Gym. The Naughty Black Gym. Are right, we finna go on missions and, and y'all? Finna, I'm finna go fuck hoes and y'all sit in there while they cooking shit. Mm. So you. But hold on, this goes brings back to show you when you don't have a man yeah, present when, you, when your dad yeah. is not when there. When they dad wasn't there, that's what they raised themselves. Yeah, yeah. they so dad. That's what I'm saying. They like, dad wasn't able to. Be it's there. like a circle. Yeah. It's like yeah. a it's circle. A, it's yeah. a circle. It's, it's a, a circle. circle of life. Just like you, like. John, G, like G had a, a pops and stuff like that. Yeah. But you know, they just boys, they're just mischievous. You feel yeah. me? That's just like when Baba see y'all, y'all come over. Look, yeah. we don't do nothing like that with them, thank yeah. God. We kind of like, you know, they see us doing like the pod, like, you know, yeah. Baba want to be on the podcast with you yeah, and stuff yeah, like yeah. that. So, you know, we can kind of break that cycle, you know, a little bit. Yeah, yeah. And, and, and you know, I got to, I had to work on myself when I'm with Baba, you know, what I say on the phone because, man, he, Act just like me. He yeah, wanted, yeah, yeah. And he'd be saying, Dad, I want to be like you. I'm like, nah, son, be yeah. better. Yeah, you yeah, feel yeah. me? See, that's that so that's the, what I'm saying, you know? Shit, like, yeah. even when I was doing my shit at 135, there was times that I should have been like, oh, shit. Yeah, Baba didn't walk into Bob some sessions. Baba did some shit. <laughs> Baba, bro, you know, like, because like, Zoe used to pop in late yeah, Zoe with, his son, yeah, with his son, not yeah. knowing what's going on. Yeah, and he it's used to like, come to one three five and think, "Oh, yes. we on family day." Yeah, nah, bro, we on a mission. Over Baba didn't been in some, yeah, he's been some but, spots. Bro, look, some CPS moments. But what, I'm saying, <laughs> oh God, but what I'm saying is, bro, like you know, when, when we get when when, the, when men get around each other, it's like. Bro, we don't see age. Certain yeah. times, we just yeah, be like, nigga, yeah. look, man, shit. If you can walk, you can talk, you with it, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Shit, yeah, you, yeah. you know what I'm saying, bro? It's just like, man, look, little nigga, come. You know, like you be with your like. 
I my uncles ain't never been into drinking and shit. Like I can't remember none of my uncles yeah. drinking. Just smoke. Or just smoke. Yeah. Uh, but I remember just you know, bro. We go outside. My auntie used to do the motorcycle shit, mm-hmm. and she used to have the neighborhood packed. She used to have a neighborhood pack. Oh, that's your auntie? Yeah. Because I went to a, a motorcycle party over there. Yeah, yeah. She, right there. Juices. Yeah, 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 okay, for sure. Yeah, right. yeah, they, used okay. To, they used to have it cracking, right? Yeah, yeah, You walk yeah. outside, I, was, I remember right one there. time I went out there. Me and High Rod was yeah, out there. Yeah, so you, High Rod, yeah, High Rod function with it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So okay. just imagine you being a kid, seeing all these people, right? Yeah. People drinking shit, half-naked women. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Bro, me and Zoe used to be, we used to come sneak out our, our door, our sliding door, and put our heads over the fence. Cause my mom wouldn't let us outside. Yeah. Like, nigga, man, man, y'all want some, y'all want some little E and J personals and shit like yeah. that. Shout out to my cousin D Coleman. I mean, you know, rest in peace. To yeah, him. man. But my cousin D uh, D D Coleman, man, he, man, he didn't put me in some tight situations before him. and High Rod was close too. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, he didn't put me in some tight situations over there too, man. And, yeah, bro. Man, it's... twin here, man. Y'all get this little shit, y'all, but y'all going in the house, man. Yeah, bro. Did you yeah, pour you? Pour you some of that, that E and J. Yeah, E and J was big back <laughs> that, then. That in the Mad Dog 2020. So, bro, like my dad was asking me, like, uh, damn, so I don't know where you where you get that 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 gene to want to drink. Cause you know my pops, they don't drink. Yeah. Uh, you know, but me, I'm like a a, a, a certified like. You know, drinker. Real lifeguard. Yeah. 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 But it's just that shit that we used to see, bro. We used to see nothing but pure fucking chaos. So let me ask you something real quick because we got a a little short amount of time. Do you feel like the stuff that you grow up, like your childhood, did it make you better? I mean, does it make you better as an adult right now? Are you still like, man, that it still kind of like messed you up, right? You know, it still kind of messed you up. Bro, you get in trouble who, at school, somebody, whoever was picking you up was whooping your ass. Mm-hmm. And then when you got home, you was getting your ass whooped. Mm-hmm. Right. And, and, and it gave you structure, bro. Like, mm-hmm. n- bro, back then, we was more scared of the adults. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? Yes, ma'am, no, sir. Who was it cussing? Now, the adults are scared of the kids. Yeah. And it's just, it, I feel like we grew up in the right era. Yeah. yeah. I mean, but with like, me, for sure, that. yeah. Like, I, I, have my, uh, I have my issues, but mm-hmm. overall... One thing I always saw, like my family, we we had our problems, but mm. it was always people working. Right. Yeah, it was yeah, always yeah. stuff going on. It yeah. wasn't really like they, my cousins had their run-ins in the streets, mm. but they was working. They had jobs. They had right. hustle. They had. They didn't just. They wasn't bound to the streets. Right, they right. wasn't like this. All we can do. Right. Like like in the middle of war, yeah. they had full-time jobs. Right. Right. You know what right, I mean? Right. They went to work for forty hours while in a beef. Right. You know what I'm saying? That don't even sound right nowadays. Right. Like, imagine somebody, a cable man. Mm. John Boy is a cable guy. Mm. He worked at, it was, uh, 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 what was it called? Was it media, media One. Yeah, Media One. Media One. It changed from Continental Cable to Media One. Now it's Xfinity. Mm-hmm. So he, imagine him popping up at your, at your house, uh, 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 hooking your cable up, but he, this your enemy. You know what right. I mean? Yeah. Now dudes is thinking like, oh, man, I got, I got beef. I'm not going to get no job. They might right. catch me working. Yeah. Right, right. So I always, that's one thing I always seen. I see, you're going to see that more than anything. Even though it was drive-bys and shootings, right. I always seen him coming home with his medium one on. I had got his mace, sprayed myself on accident. Just being, <laughs> yeah, just being mischievous. <laughs> like, what's this? Like, not to catch y'all, I know we got to hurry up. But it, was it just me or like all the thugs was working for ELC back in the day? They worked yeah. there too. Right. They worked at ELC too. That green, yeah. that they worked green, there. We, that my mom used to. She used to drop them off on White's Bridge. Back in the day, it was on yeah. White's Bridge. I don't know why as a kid, I wanted to work for EOC. Hell, yeah. I, I used to think... I, I'll put a year in. I, yeah. I, I used to think EOC was like the... Like, that's Bro, what you do. I wanted to have one of those... Like, that's what you get a job at EOC. Bro, oh, I, I see everybody in the green and the boots. Yeah. So and uh, uh, yeah. everybody, you know, like, got in that damn white van. Hey, shout out our boy, EOC. You yeah, feel man, me? Yeah, shout out to you, man. That was yeah. the first out. Matter of fact... I really wanted a fucking EOC Speaking of working, that was like... The first job I really got and stuck with was the EOC. Really? I used to go work for like two months, save up like 600, thought yeah. I had it, and quit. But the EOC was the first one where I went and I stuck with it. Man, so I'm shout out to the EOC. John yeah. Boy worked there. Yeah, Man, everybody. My, yeah. All of my sisters, I think my brother worked there. I know Bernice worked there. Yeah, Bob they might have spent out, some time. They was giving out jobs. And I was like, okay, everybody, bro, this, I this swear, where you go work at. It's EOC. not a hard job to get, bro. You bro just, I swear I wanted to work for EOC. You put that weekend, that week orientation. Where you don't they get? Still, they still have it. Uh, yeah, it's by the crib. It's by my house. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I went to work at ELC in the Hen Center because you yep. just have fun, man. Yep. Yeah, I yeah. So, 
So look, like I said, even though I seen I seen some shit and kind of got caught up in some shit, no, like my uncles again. always was working, my yeah. aunts was always working, my grandma went to work, right. my cousins, regardless of what they was doing, they went to work. So right. you see, I saw a good balance of both. So now yeah. I kind of I got straight. I saw like, man, this street shit for real, mm -hmm. and it ain't for me. Mm -hmm. I'm staying away from that. Like, I'm not easy influenced. Like, my partners, right. when my partners were selling dope, yeah. carrying guns, I didn't have none of that. Right. I was just like, oh, yeah, that's what my niggas do. But yeah. I, ain't, I, I wasn't. Did you have to kind of, like, navigate, like, when you see your friends out in public? Like, nah, we fairgrounds? just kicking it. We kicking it. You still kicking it? So it's not like. Them still my brothers yeah, okay. to this day. Okay. Okay. That's so up, I was able to be like, man, I've seen all that already. Man. Yeah. Hey, real quick, let me ask you something. When y'all be out in public, do y'all hesitate? Like, ooh, shit. Maybe I shouldn't shake hands with this person, or y'all. Nah, think about I didn't. I didn't put myself in some tricky situation, man, because I do got cutties who still or was yeah. active, and I we didn't we didn't put ourselves in some sticky. Sh I didn't have yeah. to step in between a few things and be like, "Hey, he with me." <laughs> you, <laughs> on, you know what I'm saying? Bro, be a little like, gung ho, really but he gotta, with me. Yeah, like, hey, first of all, you really got to navigate the right way. Yeah, you, you yeah, do. Yeah, you do. Yeah, and yeah. we used to be careful. We'd be like, "Oh, let's go to Aldo's tonight." I'm like, "Nah, Cuddy." Not tonight. You not not never yeah. never this night. <laughs> not with you. Not with yeah. you. I might go. Yeah, <laughs> but you you stay, you, stay my, you stay with the kids my, tonight, yeah. my me boy. Me and JJ had. A, yeah. I had one of my nephews with me. We had a we had a little shaky night yeah. one night at uh, Sahar. Yeah. It was kind of crazy, but he was know. like, "Oh, it's oh. all good. Nah, yeah. it's all good." Like, is it D? Is it? Is it? Is it? Is it? Yeah. It wasn't uh, all good, but yeah. I mean, it was good. We made it to the car, and, yeah, you we, know, thank God, you know, like, you know, I, I got a little bit, we got a little bit of, you know, a little He finally saw before. somebody where he's like, yeah, maybe we should go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, let's get the hell up out of here then, bro. Yeah. The thing, you know, I really want to thank God, and I mean, this is one thing I said I love about West Fresno, because they always allow, you know, certain people like, nah, man, not them. And I always feel like, you know, we just kind of like, nah, everybody, y'all pressing like, nah, y'all come on. Yeah, yeah, y'all yeah, yeah. come on, come on. We ain't, we ain't that type of in like. I know it's like more in the area. You got to be careful who you cool with, but Fresno and West Fresno, they always look at us like, man, look, we know them. Like they ain't on that yeah. shit. Yeah, you get what I mean. Yeah, I, I can and, say it's that, crazy. Bro. Like I got family from every side. Yeah, and it's always been like, no, come on, y'all, yeah. come on, man. I think more, me. more so in our era, it was probably less. It was more serious. It was more dangerous. Shh. Clearly and now. Clearly more dangerous. Clearly, clearly. But we knew who by elementary. If you was really from the west side, by elementary, right, right, we right. knew who was what right, by then. Right, yeah, yeah, we yeah, knew yeah. like we right. knew who was really gang banging mm -hmm. and who wasn't. Like yeah. mm -hmm. we we even though we a fight and they would test your nuts. Right. We oh he ain't no punk, but he not one. He not like yeah, us. Yeah, yep, yep, you know what yep. I'm saying? We by, and when I went to Kurt, all the dudes that's gang banging now was gang banging then. For sure. Yeah. And no, not too many new people started. Yeah, they was already doing their thing then. Yeah. So I don't know about now, but it seemed like they just looking for numbers. It seemed like you know, yeah. it's 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 less dangerous because I think police got a lot, a lot more technology. They, well, I don't think anybody doing drive bys like how they was doing. Bro, yeah. they was doing drive bys damn near every yeah, Sunday. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then the West ain't as occupied as it once was either. Yeah. Not even close. As far as black Ooh. gangs, not even close. Not nearly as close. Mm. This is this is probably about an eighty percent drop off. I, you know what, JJ? I'm not gonna lie. Uh, my knowledge of what's going on currently, you know, we get. Little, I'm over there. You yeah, yeah. We, I get a little <laughs> snippets of what's there, but man, so I'm just like, bro, god damn, bro. Yeah. Unless we get a little, you know, conversation going into, you know, the juices. Yeah, you get know, you get, you get around the right, the, the right, the wrong people. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you, get a, you, <laughs> you get around, get around the, the wrong people. people. Like, man, you know, can I ask y'all one question? Yeah. Bro, how do y'all, like, and I feel two ways about it, because I feel like it's the, it's, the, it's the niggas talking too much in front of females. For sure. But um, that's that, always been a thing. Bro, you got to send... That's bro, always been a thing. Yeah. I feel like, bro, send the females out of the room, bro. Dudes I gonna tell they what see. they gonna do. They gonna tell they girl. Mm -hmm. She gonna. They girl bro, gonna tell seen, somebody. Or maybe I just never been around it. Yeah. Like, I, bro, I hate women. I, not hate women, but I hate being around women. Like, talk about men shit. That's what. But that's bro, just like that's the era we in right now. But women bro. been doing that forever though. Yeah, man. Bro, because it's, it's the like, grapevine. That's all they. But have. I'm about to tell you, they can just like 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 your man could be sitting in the den on the phone. That girl didn't turn the TV down on mute and she's listening to everything. And then when you come in the room, like, oh, babe, what, what happened? You didn't heard all the story. You just want to get the right information yeah. and all that. And That's then it's crazy, like, okay, bro. she get on the phone, tell her friend. Then she tell her friend, then like, okay. 
everybody already got their spin on it. Everybody, that's just like when something happened, everybody already know who did it. Yeah. And what? Yeah. It, by the time something happens, the police Man, is I'm always. Getting, the, I'm getting word. Hey, Sapolis. Yeah. I, a hey, Sapolis. I, 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 it, I'm it, receiving I'm a word day of. Yeah, it's That's just like crazy, bro. I, like you, I mean, if you don't got Facebook, but it's just like you already know who did it. That's oh crazy. man, it's and it's not hard. Like you said, the black community is like what seven percent, eight percent out here now. It's four. Oh, four. Damn. Four percent. Yeah. yeah so we just looked that up. It's like close, close to five, like four point eight. Oh, okay. Well, even smaller. According to the consensus, yeah. Yeah. So. But right. it, it used to be this chick I used to talk to, like in my early twenties. Mm -hmm. She was from the neighborhood. She knew everything. Why? Because she got so many aunties. Mm -hmm. She got a lot of female cousins. Mm -hmm. They all from the west side. Mm -hmm. They all talk to different dudes from the west side. Somebody That's gonna know crazy, something. Bro. They gonna share the information, mm -hmm. and it's gonna reach me. I'm gonna find out about it. <laughs> you know I mean? And I'm like, who did what to who? <laughs> man, <laughs> I'm gonna just say this, man. Hey, y'all look out for one one or another, man, and, and show love, man, and, and, and put them guns down, man. Get knuckle behind up. that building and knuckle yeah, yeah, up, yeah, man. man. Stop killing, stop killing these Raise young black your kids. men, man. Yeah, happy man. Father, happy belated Father's Day. Happy, happy belated happy Father's June Day, to all the fathers, man. Yeah. Happy uh, Juneteenth. Hope you enjoyed those holidays, cause you know what I mean. Like and subscribe, man. Oh yeah, yeah don't forget to up, like and man. subscribe, man. Appreciate y'all, yeah. man. The numbers went up, man. We're gonna and then on the next episode, we're gonna be doing a giveaway, and I believe we're gonna be at Rogers Football Camp. Yeah, yeah Rogers right, Football right. Camp, yeah. July eighth. July eighth, yeah, July eighth. Y'all make sure y'all do donations. Get out there, man. Support, man. These, man. these kids, man. Uh, Let's not call him Roger. Though. Let's call him Syrup. Sir, oh, yeah, he yeah, wants, yeah, he yeah. wants to be called yeah, Sir. Yeah, 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 yeah. Thank you, thank you. Most definitely. Yeah, yeah. Hey, shout out to Sir, man. We're always be show love. Sir, and uh, I forgot who else is going to be in there, so I'm not trying We're to We're going to name no anybody. names, but Fresno you know, Football Elite. Fresno yeah. Football. Yeah, yeah. Fresno yeah. Football Elite. Y'all come out there, out there and support them. Uh, July 8th. Children. Facts, facts, uh, facts. Appreciate checking in with the farm, man. The yeah. ghost is out. I take you on a trip through the nickel, nickel nine. I take you on a trip through the